for it. Hello there. Thank you once again for watching our show. Today, our episode, well, for this show entitled Crazy Talks with Wise People. This is Mary Angela Moore for TVC in TV interviewing our director for Rare Arts. Our director for Rare Arts has a very rare story. He used to stay in prison for 10 years because of drug trafficking and drug abuse. But look at him now, he's so vibrant. He's an artist now, and he's now applying what he learned inside the prison cell. For 10 years in prison, he didn't waste his time. He learned to paint by using hair for his brush. He, his, I think he's going to show the first brushes that he made out of hair, out of branches. He used coffee for colors and many other kinds of materials that he could just grab within the prison cell. So his story is very impressive. He's now out and he is now sharing with us his paintings. Um, of course, his name is Stefan Verselt. Stefan, would you like to add more to my introduction? There might be something else that I missed, so please do so. Well, I'm going to say it then. I'm uh, glad to be on the group from TBC and TV, and I'm glad to be uh, the director of Rare Arts. And like you told me, the first pencil I made, look, it's yes, my uh, own that's the first. That's the first brush that you made. That was the first brush. It was just a stick from outside. So you were still in I prison, own. and that was the yeah. first brush that you made? That's that made out of your hair. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy I was with, uh, he was a blonde guy. Yeah. He had more hair than I did. And <laughs> this is a, a plastic stick. A plastic and stick. And I put a, a little bit of, a, how you call it, to, to write a little plastic tube in uh -huh. it with the hair. So uh -huh. those are the two brushes where I start really painting with. Yeah, that's why you, you're you keeping them, right? For sentimental yeah, value. keeping them. Yeah. It's a little bit, uh, it's, it's to know where you come from, but uh, you can use whatever. And uh, when you have time, you, you look at brushes like this, uh -huh. toothbrushes to paint Tooth with. Brushes. Even brushes for the makeup. Yes, them. yes. <laughs> To, to, do, to do the bigger things. Yeah. And after a while, you they let you buy some brushes. And the brush, the brushes I bought in prison. The first the, brushes you brought. It's a a uh -huh. fine one and a thick one that are real brushes. But I also used uh, sticks and like this popsicle sticks popsicle to sticks. paint with. I pay paint with my fingers, uh, with everything. Little sponges, the the brushes to clean the, um, the trimmer, the hair trimmers. I use them to paint, so. <laughs> and you can use that too. Everything, everything. My goodness. Wow, impressed. I'm so impressed. The sponges, you, you tear them apart, then uh -huh. you have a fine thing, you have a bigger plate, and you just wash them out and you, after a while, they're, they're a little bit like your hands. You know what they do. You know what uh, what comes out of it. So it's a, a way of uh, not thinking about the, the world. Be in your own cocoon, your loving, warm cocoon, mm -hmm. and be creative. And like that, I, I'm gonna show you some things I made. Them no, crazy. I'd like you to show us those paintings that are for sale because you're actually selling your paintings worldwide now. So, would you like to show us some of those paintings that you would like to our our viewers to buy from you? This is one I like to sell. Look, it's made with uh, palette knives. Knives. Ah. These are pallet knives. Uh -huh. You can see it's like a little bit uh, like this. You take the paint and you just push it on the wooden panel. Mm -hmm. 
when they're not used, they look like this. I sold one painting and then I could buy three new ones. Ah. So, but I'm going to save them. Still, I'm going to use the old ones. Mm -hmm. But this is, and even for people from England, um, in the World War One, there uh -huh. was a lot of English soldiers who died. Mm -hmm. And there were a, a flower and it's called poppies. Ah. And it uh, represents the blood of the English soldiers that came here to help us against the Germans. Ah. And every spring, this red flower with a little bit blue, a little bit yellow in it comes out in all the fields around Ypres and the west of uh, Flanders. And this is my poppy field. Mm -hmm. This is a painting that I sell, but also uh, How much is that? How much is that? This I, I sell for 50 euro without the shipping, without oh, frame. Without shipment. Ah. Wonderful. So yeah. Shipping, I weigh it, I weigh it, I, I make a, a contact with the buyer. Mm -hmm. If he want it framed, I ask the price of the framing, then the way to, to, to ship it. Mm -hmm. And like that, I make an arrangement. Yes. And, Sometimes uh, I just ask him to, to buy new paint and send me new paint and I send the painting to him. Eh? Yeah, if, if you like to buy that painting, you can email me at Angela at tvcintv.com. Angela at tvc-intv.com. We will be posting this on our, um, on our channel, YouTube channel, and we will be writing the address or the contact information below this YouTube um, production. Okay. Um, yeah. Actually, Stefan, you have your own email address, but I'm not sure if it's if it's still, if it's already working, but just to make sure they just need to email me because mine is already working. So well, yes, morning. Stefan, another another you've got a lot of uh, very unique paintings and drawings and uh can, can you please uh please please could you please show those stuff? everything is unique and i show you one from gel it was a pencil drawing ah. i'm not very uh, catholic uh guy i try to not have the light directly in it mm -hmm. and it was the priest who asked uh, to me you want to make a cross to put on the song script for mm -hmm. the chapel, mm -hmm. but like I'm not, uh, I'm I'm not a non-believer. I'm an atheist, mm -hmm. so I believe in something greater than the world, but not in one God. Mm -hmm. And uh, first, I didn't want to do it, so I tried to prank him, and I I wanted to make something very beautiful, but also. To be sure, he didn't want to have it. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a scarecrow on a cross. Yeah, it's a scarecrow on the cross. It's a rare on art. Cross. Why, I, I why made it in 2013. And he looked at me and he was like, Stefan, it's beautiful. I cannot use it in my church, but it's beautiful. And he went to the directors of the jail mm -hmm. and he asked, especially for me, can you frame that so he can hang it in his cell like a drawing because he 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 was very he he liked it very much he didn't oh, want yeah. to use it it's, for the like, wow what kind of an imagination a scarecrow on a cross <laughs> and I, i i i developed myself in all the things uh, i do so i i tried to paint with uh, the markers, the ink of the markers. And generally you can get markers like that, simple markers. Mm. I opened them, I put water in it, so it became a little bit more liquid. I splashed it around and I'm gonna show you like to, this is normal paper, but what you can do just with marker ink and water. Yeah. You you see it's wow very, it's so impressive it's it's the marker ink and, oh wow this, yeah the branches 
It's yeah. just coffee sprinkles. Oh my, wow. When it was very wet, I sprinkled the coffee on it. So it can coffee, run its coffee. Uh, ah. <laughs> the coffee, and the coffee makes the color of the branches. And, oh, and this coffee. one, I try it again wow. with a little bit more coffee because you have to try and try and try again. Mm -hmm. So you get experience. I use the coffee to make even the, the front side become more in front and the back right. side more right. in the back. And look, there's a, when you look closer, you can see it's just coffee. Yeah, yeah. These are just flashes of coffee. Just those, a, are, are those are those for sale? Um, those are the very early paintings that that. Yeah, the, this is trying. If somebody wants them, I I, I want to sell them. I want to send them to them. But this is the trying. Art is something to try. I, I like that when, when, when you do that. When you do that. After a while, you get experienced and you know what the liquids are going to do. This, you know, on the, to, to write, how you call it in English? Um, that's a sign pen. I uh, it's a pen to, to write. Right. Uh, sign pen. Those blue pen. Fountain pen, yeah. Copper pen is copper. It's a fountain pen. So I scratch pen. the copper yeah. and very fine powder. Mm -hmm. Put it with water and the ink, and this gives the golden thing, but it's the copper of the pen. Mm -hmm. I scratched on the wall, mm -hmm. so I could make this one. Mm -hmm. Because I knew what the, the, the liquid is going to do on the paper. Mm. So I could move it around, so it made the thing I wanted to be. This one was yeah. It started with this. Uh -huh. Splashes, just splashes. Splash, splash. Then it goes to the one you see with the trees. And after a while, you can do very Something like that. Ah, ah. Wow. So you get experience in your own way. And also, I try different uh, backgrounds, also like, like this mm -hmm. a black paper. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, people say, on black, you have to use white, mm -hmm. but that's not true. Look, on oh, black, yeah. you can... it depends on the shading. It's a cherry. It's a cherry. A cherry. On a black paper. On a black paper, and it's not a red cherry. It seems red, mm. but it's blue. I use blue, only blue. Blue, and it blue turned out. Blue and yellow red. for the stick. And the blue on the, the black, color, and it turned the out to be red. The blue turns red with the light. When it's sun, you see, it's blue. I see white. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, wow, that's magic. <laughs> indeed, rare arts. Yeah, indeed, rare arts, magic. Oh, arts and can be magic. Yeah. I'm going to move a little bit around also. You see the butterfly. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to say something about the head also. But uh -huh. I do other things than other people. Other people make from something big. Mm. They make like a picture of yeah. it. They make it small. I took a little lemon, cut it in half, and I make the lemon very big. Because now I'm going to stand next to it. Then you're going to see that the little lemon that's big like that can also be big. Can be as like big this. as you can be. Yeah, great. <laughs> so it's just a difference. It's a freedom, a freedom you have. Mm. You have blue paper and you don't have to be, you use what you have. Yeah. You don't have all the colors. You can use yeah. the blue from the paper also to have a blue person. Mm -hmm. Just just black, a little bit red, and a little bit a little bit gray, and you can draw a head. Mm -hmm. It's just you have to have a mindset. Mm -hmm. Just do it. it. This was made without uh, brushes. It's only with sponge. With sponge, without brushes. Only with things like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. No brushes needed. No real paint needed. 
and you can go far. You have to let your brain be free. You have to be in your warm cocoon for yourself. Think what's sticky, what's not sticky, what's colorful, what's not colorful. Mm. Like this one. This one is entirely made of. Oh, wow. I like it. Wow, wow. It looks like a mural, made of like a paste. heavenly mural or something. What is it? It's an abstract on wood. Mm -hmm. I like it like that, but some people like it more like that. Mm -hmm. Some people like it more like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some like that. Yeah. That depends on the person. For mm -hmm. me, I named it, I put my name here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's the title of that? For thing? me, it's freedom. Freedom. No. Freedom. freedom of doing. It's toothpaste with marker ink. Toothpaste in it. made out of toothpaste. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> it's made of toothpaste. Look, it's very rough. Uh-huh. It's just rough. Do the lines in it with Oh stick. wow. It looks and so beautiful. Wow. And splash of colors and so attractive. And it triggers your imagination. Wonderful. Yeah, you can, How much are you, you selling know, that for, Stefan? How much is like that? Because it's very really rare, and even I cannot make one that looks like it. Correct. It's already difficult. Uh -huh. But make the same one twice, it's impossible. Impossible, you're right. So it's really rare. So yeah, it's really it's rare. rare. It's one of a yeah, kind. So how much are you selling that for if you're going to sell that? Not framed, not framed, not the shipment. I ask 100 euro for it. How much? 100. 100 euro. Yeah. Yes. Yes. If there's anyone who's interested, you can email me at Angela, Angela at TBC, TBC dash in TV dot com. Again, we will be writing the contact address below the YouTube. You know, this will be posted in, on YouTube. So yes, um, Stefan, um, another thing for, for, for those of you who might be wondering uh, why he has been doing this after jail. Well, this is way of, you know, expressing himself. He's a very expressive person. And at the same time, uh, art is a very good way for him to assimilate to the society, especially also that, he met an accident when he was in jail and he still um, isn't able to um, function really appropriately. Can you please, I think he, he, yeah. he lives I, I'm going to show you, look, I'm still yeah. in a brace yeah. got some because brace. of my backbone is broken and yeah. broken I have to sit on yeah. a ball because when I sit on a chair after a while, I have too much pain, so ah. it's a, it's a way of uh, being able to express myself, and I don't only do it like this uh, abstract things, but I I take my imagination everywhere I come. So when you walk in the city, I live in the city. When you walk in the city, you see a lot of uh, graffiti paintings and everything. So sometimes. I do things like this Actually, also. This is yeah. a canvas. Mm -hmm. And the graffiti scene here in Belgium is a really big scene. Mm -hmm. So I mimic it on my way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just with the sticks I did it. But with real paint, I buy now the, mm -hmm. when I have the money, the small tubes of paint mm -hmm. I have. This is a new one. This is a used one. <laughs> So I, I, I use the real paint also because it goes a little bit better. Well, I like the splash of colors, you know, I love and it, I love it. This is the catch me. It's more of a contemporary and, art. Uh, the other ones are kind of classic, but then that one is contemporary. Yeah, very. So and you can go like the, the pencil drawing. I show you one. Uh, it's made with matches that I burned mm -hmm. and little by little these are the fairies. Again, matchsticks. 
that you burn. Matchsticks? I burn. You burn the matchsticks and use so, them. So I can ordinary. use them like a pencil. Ah. And I drew the fairies. Mm -hmm. them. Matchsticks. You see, you didn't use a pencil. Wow, no. impressive. Rare Just, art uh, indeed. <laughs> so uh, you can do it with everything. But when you do um, a little bit abstract, when you do your thing, only and that I want to tell you to, to the people, not always everybody is going to like it. But you have to do it for yourself. You have to put your feeling in it, your uh, moment, your idea, your feeling in it. When you put your Correct. feeling in it, you Correct. can do whatever you want. And sometimes it has to be very exact. Like this one, the background is just painted by hand. Oh, wow. Like that, right? Yeah. It's a daisy, a ballet daisy with a little butterfly on it. That, it costs time to paint. That is really painting. Exquisite. Very That's exquisite. Yeah. fine art. Yeah. So. That How much is selling not, that for? How much you selling that for? This one, I, when I fall just by the hours, and I, I really need to ask, just like that on the wooden panel, two hundred euro for it. So yeah, yes. Because it's, you wait for the background, then you paint the legs. And the time, you, and the time is the daisy, the, all the time. Imagination. And it's one of a kind, yes. It's one of a kind. Very rare indeed. Also, to, to um, look fine, because now I have good pencils. Eh? I'm a little bit farther now in, in the creativity. I have good pencil now, so I can do a little bit more. But still, I'm thinking of the past. And all the leftover paints, I just throw it on a paper and I scrape it out. Throw when it's blue, I, I just the leftovers, I put it on yeah, paper yeah. and I take uh -huh. them. Uh -huh. After a while, you look back to it because you don't have to put everything in your, uh, in your house. Mm -hmm. You look back to it. And also this, mm -hmm. when you see this. Oh, it looks like mountains. Like mountains and there's a river. Uh -huh. like, well, but uh, you see it from far away. I'm going to go a little bit closer. Closer. It looks it's like just a broom. leftover paint. And uh -huh. I just cut it out of three pieces of paper and I glue them together. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's mm -hmm. not even painted. It, it didn't mean to be like that. It was just the leftovers. And after a while, I looked to it and I saw in the blue, the sky, I saw in the black, I saw the mountains, I saw in the, the white a little bit, the river. So I glued them together. I framed them. And when you look from far away, it's shy. Wow, it's a painting. Mm -hmm. And in reality, it's the leftovers that I didn't want to spoil. You don't want, yeah, you don't want to waste any of your resources. So. No, you, you don't waste the paint. You, 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 paint, you paint the paint, so you, you cannot throw it away. Yeah, great. Or you yes. use it, you reuse it. That's something you learn. Right. That makes it special. Yes, as you've seen, uh, you, you see very rare arts. And um, here at TBC in TV, let me take this opportunity to help Stefan here plug his new show here at TBC and TV. His new show is entitled Rare Art. So he's going to teach us rare arts, wherein you don't need to go out and buy if you wish to be very creative. You just need to find something from your kitchen, maybe some fruits, maybe some vegetables, or maybe some equipments in the kitchen, or you, you might just use a hairbrush, <laughs> or you might just see something inside your bag that you can use. For, yeah. for for the artwork that Stefan uh, here, the director for Rare Arts at TBC and TV will be doing. So when can you come up with your first uh, 
video lesson on rare art, Stefan? I'm going to try it as soon as possible. And uh, with uh, one of the teammates, uh, Kuram, uh, he's uh, entitled to do the videos and everything. I'm going to ask him some uh, how and uh, don'ts to film it with the computer and with my cell phone and put it together so the people can really see how I start and how I make it. Uh, I have to learn it also. So it's a new creative thing I learn. And I'm gonna show to the people that everybody can be creative and everybody can have that moment of freedom in their mind, that moment to be in the warm, cozy cocoon of themselves to just create something. When yeah. you can create something, you 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 have a, a full feeling, a loving feeling, a warm feeling, uh -huh. mm. and you can give it as a present to somebody you love. It's or you can something do, unique. Or you can sell them. It's something. Yeah. Or you can sell them. But for the people, I, I really want to do it to show that every emotion that they have. Like sometimes I have this uh, emotions also, this is painted, uh, I, this is the man, he looked behind the curtain. It was in the middle of COVID, I was feeling difficult time and I was just, I'm and gonna look behind the curtain. And you can go out, yeah. I'm gonna look behind the curtain as the world doing well and oh. like this. So as cool the, that's the, the thought behind mm. this painting. And like that, every painting has something special. Absolutely, and, correct. And there's a story and, behind every painting, right? And it's uh I'm I'm autodidact. I'm learned by myself. I read some books. I know how to handle some things, but most of it I learned by myself. Absolutely, Just thank you. Yeah, try right. it and try yeah. it again, and you 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 make something out of it. You 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 go into this uh, creative process, and we have three minutes. Things, I, wa I want to show it to the people that everybody, everybody can do it. It's like riding a bike. Mm. You just have to try it. You just have to have the guts to do it. When it's not so good, put it aside, try again. Mm. With a bicycle, you fall, you stand up, you try again. Mm. It's the same thing. It's something you need to learn. It's uh, you, you let your emotions and your mind go to your hands and put it on paper, put it on wood, put it on canvas, put it on uh, just a piece of fabric. Anything you can use, anything you can use. It's just try and error. You yes, can make, right. also like, I'm gonna show you now these things. Even from shells you find on the beach. Oh, wow. I love that. <laughs> so, oh, for earrings? Yeah. Hey, those are the earrings I'm going to give them. They wow. are not for sale. They're for my girlfriend. Yeah. But you yeah. see. You made rare art for thing. your girlfriend. With oh, everything, oh. you can just time, imagination, and just try it. Try it, mm -hmm. people, just try it. Put your own feeling into it. Try what you want, go for your goals. Don't yeah. judge another, mm -hmm. go for it. All right, so art is an expression. There's nothing, th there's actually nothing wrong or nothing is right. Everything is right. Um, Everything when you is right. Art. You can learn it. You mm. can learn it. Yeah, that's no problem. But yes, it's a skill, also, right? you can yeah. you can do it by feeling. Mm -hmm. And I think it's uh, good for people to know when you do it by feeling, it's mm. never bad. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. It's never bad. Yes, you okay, can say so, for yourself, it's not yes. the beautiful, the most beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. But it's never bad. 
Because you, right. you made it by heart. You're right. Okay, so we might run out of time. Uh, may I just ask you to invite our friends to join you to learn rare arts from you at TBC in TV. Um, will you please uh, just invite them? Maybe one or two sentences yeah. will do. Yeah. So I'm Stefan Vrels, Director of Rare Arts for TBC and TV. And I'm gonna make sure in a month, month and a half to have my first show to show you how to make rare art, special art, so you can do it yourself and that we show the movies to the world so everybody can be his own artist in his own place. Yeah, own so world. you can be an artist, artist yourself. Look at Stepan. He just found out his talent when he was in jail. So, well, anyone can find out whether they're really for the arts or not. But you see, good thing with the, with art is that there's really nothing wrong. You can do like you can do free arts and express yourself using anything that you have inside the home, or inside your uh, or outside the home, like in your garden or in your school or anywhere else. So. That ends our show. Thank you very much, Stefan. I'm so honored to have you in um, to have you in crazy talks with wise people. You're so wise to have made use of your time while you were in prison and to have changed your life in a in 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 a better way using arts, using rare arts. So thank, thank you, you, friends, for watching us once again, and please. Don't forget, or just remember, sorry. Don't forget is a negative word. Just We just better say, remember the show Rare oh. Arts. It's coming soon. And of course, the episode of Crazy Talks with Wise People comes to you twice a month. This is Mary Angela Moore once again for TBC and TV. Very happy to have met you again. Bye for now. Bye.